Dear Eva Khorja, hello everyone, you're very welcome. We're taking a little break from the NSU Prima project to carry out some maintenance on my 1974 Volkswagen Transporter. This bus gets a lot of use during the summer months with music festivals, wild camping, wherever the road may take us. But since we completed the engine refurbishment last year, we've developed a fluid leak. This time, from the gearbox. This is a really low mileage transmission and I want to ensure it has the lubrication it needs to get us to the end of the summer. Before we do however, here are some handy tools for this job. Starting with the basics. Firstly, a good degreaser. We need to thoroughly clean the area around the filler hole. Because even a small oil leak can collect a great degree of dirt over time, the exterior of my gearbox isn't exactly clean, and if we allow any debris to get inside, it will negate any good that we do today. Secondly, these gearboxes have an oil filler and an oil drain plug with a 17mm hexagonal recess. These male hex kits or keys are a handy item to have on the shelf as many manufacturers use a similar arrangement on their gearboxes and differentials. They can be imitated by welding two bolts together but proper tooling works best. Thirdly, the oil. There can often be a debate about which oil to use in a classic Volkswagen. In my mind, however, there is no such discussion. The Volkswagen engineers who designed this gearbox knew far more about it than anyone around today, and they specified 8090 GL4 high point gear oil. My gearbox hasn't changed in a half century, so that is what I will use. The reason why GL4 is specified is because this gearbox is actually a transaxle. That means it is an integrated differential and a gearbox. And so we require an older oil that can do two jobs at the one time. Lastly, these gearboxes can be awkward to fill by pouring from a bottle. I have a gear oil injection kit here which makes life much easier. These are inexpensive and they're found in boating or marine suppliers as they are commonly used for gear oil service of outboard motors. Some kits only accept a proprietary container but this kind has a universal colour and fits a standard gear oil bottle. Very handy. Before we start, the vehicle needs to be perfectly flat and stable. This is not just for safety. The vehicle needs to be level for us to get a correct oil level. With that in mind, as a general principle, when it comes to the lifting, moving and support of a vehicle, I always like to bring far more weight capacity than is strictly needed. I like to know the axle stand holding an automobile over my head is under far less stress than I am. Here's our lovely clean engine. If we look forward of it, that thing that looks like the Tolka riverbed, that's the gearbox. We can see the oil drain plug which faces rearwards. We're not concerned with the draining of the oil today as this is just a check and a top up. The filler plug that we need to find is on the left hand side of the gearbox. This item here is the left hand drive shaft assembly. There's a seal in here which has failed. That's the reason for the mess. That thing that looks like a chewed toffee is the filler plug we're looking for. You know what's coming next.
Now we can see the filler plug. We can also see that much of the original factory black paint has survived. I'm just applying a gentle back and forth pressure here to break the bond without stressing the magnesium alloy casing. Cracking the casing here would mean losing the summer. And dignity. Waiting for that nice doink. That's ready to come out now. This is a good time for a ratchet. The reassuring whiff of gear oil, a scent that is difficult to describe but is similar to a mix of natural gas and salt and vinegar monster munch. Cleaning the filler plug reveals the number 73. I don't know what this means, but considering my bus is a 74, this is possibly the year of manufacture. The rustle of plastic often attracts visitors. This guest doesn't like the aroma of gear oil. Hey, it's a good job. I often marvel at the diversity of humankind. Some of us love art, some pursue adventure, and some of us are happiest lying on a concrete floor under an old bus being sprayed by smelly oil. If you're watching this, chances are you're one of those people too. You know the satisfaction. That's the correct amount of oil, when there's just a gentle trickle coming back out of the hole towards us. Shinhei, that's all there is to it. I will, in future, remove the engine and gearbox as a complete unit to replace all gearbox oil seals. But the real reason for this top-up was to see how much oil was actually left in the gearbox. This is a really low mileage, factory fresh bus and I want to keep everything nice and healthy. 
I only pumped in 150 milliliters of oil, so now I know it's not losing all that much oil over time, and so it's good for the summer. Time to get back out there. Until our next meeting, slong a fall.